Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Wednesday. It's August 18th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And I woke up this morning. My ears are a little clogged up, and my throat's a little scratchy. Um, so I'm having a little trouble talking. So I'm gonna try to get through this pretty quickly. Really good day today. Um, we trended down. Textbook. We got a break here. Moved to a new low. Then we trended up. And this purple area was the FOMC news, and you know you can see that that the price action still holds true. Uh, we overshot it to the upside, but this was a great entry right here if you wanted to risk it. But it just shows you you can see that trend line off those first couple of swings, and there it comes again. Um, so it was a great place to enter that far away from the EMA if you wanted to risk it during that FOMC, which I don't recommend that. Kind of settled down here and had another nice second entry here, which would have given you a decent scalp. Um, but on the way down, we had some really good trades early this morning, and several of them you had a runner here. If you entered here, you had a runner here, you had a runner here. And if you entered either one of these, you had a nice runner. Um, these are mostly green here. I'll talk about them when we get to them. But yeah, um, really nice day. Uh, I still traded the 1500 today, but I was pretty much done by 1030 or so. So I didn't trade anything this afternoon. But I'm going to back out and go through these pretty quickly since I'm having a little bit of a hard time talking. Um, my throat is just real weak and scratchy. So, um, But anyway, uh, first trade I saw this morning was just... Uh, just after I came in, we were kind of working off this trend line. Um, it, there's really a setup right here. I'm trying to see what time that was. That was right before I got in. It was 6.53. So if you were here, that would have been the place to enter. Um, notice the trend line working up the break, the new high, and then a, a, uh, this is a second entry short as well. But it gives you another chance. It pulls back and confirms the trend line, gives you another bearish bar. Just go short there. And then it pulls back one more time and gives you another bearish bar right off the trend line. And uh, you probably wouldn't have had a runner on this one, but this one would have. Um, this was basically a breakout pullback short. I don't know if I would have risked that right at the lower of the day into that double bottom, but it does break lower, so it is a breakout pullback short. And there is a shorter term trend line in here, and you can see it really confirms it. So you might have considered that one. It's a little risky going short that close to the low, but you can see you would have had a runner and it would have been a nice setup. So, um, and then we just kind of got stuck down here right after, um, right about the nine o'clock hour, we just kind of got started going sideways after we, we had more than a measured move down here. Here's your first leg. And you can see we, we went just a little further, and that's where it started bouncing. So you had to be concerned about going short there. Um, so we're just kind of bumping sideways. But notice what happens. You get a, a new high here and then a first entry, a second entry. Uh, I really didn't like just taking a, that failed second entry short right into those lows. But when it pushed through and pulled back and gives you kind of a breakout pullback short plus a double test of that level right there, and a big bearish bar, I, I think it was worth risking. Uh, this is real close to being green, uh, but when you try to go higher that many times and fail, you're probably going to push on lower. Notice we didn't go far before it bounced again, so uh, that's why you got to be leery of those. I made this one green, uh, red, I'm sorry, um, because I really liked it. Just looking at everything, you're making lower lows each time here, and it is off the EMA. It is a breakout pullback short. You do have to go short at the low of the day, though. And I mean, you're going short at the very low of the day. So that makes it suspect. So I still made it green, red, but it is right there on the borderline, just like this one's kind of borderline. Uh, this one, well, this one's really not borderline, but this one's really borderline being green. And it probably could, I probably could have made it green. But notice there's a two tiered channel, and we'd overshot it. Um, it was pretty obvious where the lows were, and so I really felt we had a good chance of going lower. It didn't happen, but it was an easy scalp. 
and we kind of bounced in here. Uh, you can't be go, you can't go long yet. You don't want to go short here uh, because we're just kind of going sideways. Uh, there's not much room before these lows here. Um, this one was really tempting because it's uh, a nice second entry short. Notice the new low, first entry, second entry, and it's a big bearish bar, but there's not room again. And uh, it did bounce. So you can see that we're going sideways there. There's, a, there's, um, that's, that's a doji basically. And then you got a couple more in here too. So you just kind of got to skip these. Uh, you could have, when this actually went lower and then, and then broke out the upside and then closed down, if it would have went out the upper side and turned down, I would have liked going short there, but it did just the opposite. And then before it could go lower, notice how you're just working sideways. And so I don't think you want to enter out of that congestion right into the EMA. It would have worked. And if you, if you got in with enough room to get back, uh, get out before you got to these lows, you could have considered it. But I just think you're better off. It pulls back. And this, would have, this was a tempting looking entry here. But then notice you got one, two, three touches of the bottom side. And you don't want to go long there. But you don't want to go short there either. And then we get the little failed break lower. The only reason this is not, this is real borderline being blue. The only reason I didn't make it blue is because we don't have a new low in yet. And we've got a fairly strong trend coming down. We've got a break. And we don't have a new low yet. So it could pull back to the EMA and turn down. But it does fit the rules. Notice we've bounced once, twice. There's three or four touches there. A couple more there. One there. And so the odds are we're probably going back to the other side. So if you want to be a little aggressive, you can take that one. But look what happens. we got a trend line working back. We get a close outside. We make another double top, and that's about the 8 or 10th touch of that. And you get a nice little two-bar, two-tick bar. Gives you a low-risk entry. Just go short right there, and you would have had a runner on this one. And this one runs to a new low. You get a little breakout pullback short, which was similar to this entry here. Um, again, you had to go short at the low of the day. And you do have a new low in place here. So I, I, I'd just rather take that one than this one. Um, but it would have worked. But next time it may not. So you got to be careful taking those trades. But if you're, there's some reasons to consider it. So I marked it green. And then, of course, we make our new low here, and we start working higher. This is more sideways and up, but you still can get that trend line right there. And you can see it did come into play up here. Uh, but look what happens where you get a first entry short, and normally this is where you'd get a second entry short, but it couldn't get back through this trend line. So you've tested that trend line once, twice, three times four times and that's like a little breakout pull back long as well we broke higher we pulled back we tested it then we went higher again so when prices broke above that that's a breakout pull back long and I didn't look at the 2000 tick chart but if you looked at it it may have ticked lower there uh, so for that reason if it would have ticked lower this would be blue but because it didn't uh, you're taking a chance there somewhat, although you've got enough reasons to consider entering it. You're looking for a reversal. You've met all your downtrend uh, criteria. You got you got your break, a couple legs to a new low, and you're expecting a, pro a reversal pattern. Plus, you, felt you broke lower out of that little range right there, so you figure prices are going to come back and try to test it. But they come back and shoot right through, and it pulls back again, and... You get another nice, again, if it would have broke lower and went higher, I would have liked, that probably would have had that blue. But you're getting close to 12 o'clock, so you can't enter much after that. So this is all during the, really I would, I should have this over here, because I wouldn't enter into this stuff right here, right in the noon hour. Um, again, if it wasn't because of the FOMC, I'd, I'd say go long right there. I would have had you a runner. It's kind of a spike in channel. Um, and then we overshot the trend channel again, and we're working down. You get a break, move to a new low, and it reverses. Notice that's a new high. Pull back first entry, pull back second entry. So that's a second entry long. I like that one. And it's good for a scalp. 
and you really got a double bottom here too so that's another reason I like that one it's really a triple bottom it's a double test of that level right there so that's another reason I like that one and if this wasn't after two I would have liked entering both of those because it's right off the trend line and you see they would have been nice entries but this turns out to be a nice scout nothing more than that but um, and that's pretty much what I saw for the day uh, by that by the time we got to here you had too much resistance across here because that one's tempting just talk about that one this one's real tempting here too but look at all that resistance and you don't have much room so um, but notice it's a failed second entry short and you really could actually know because there's a second entry there so it's a first entry as well but it is a failed second entry short but going that long going long right into that resistance right there not a good idea uh, and we're probably what you figure is probably going to happen here is just what happens you're going to work sideways to the other side of the trend line and then you're going to take off again uh, prices were working back to test the, the key entry point which is this trend line working up and down here but there wasn't enough momentum to really sell it off back to there so it just kind of works sideways at that point and then takes off so yeah, uh, things have picked up the last couple of days. There were some really nice trades here. You could be done early today for the first time in a while. Um, so yeah, uh, good trading day. But uh, I'm not going to drag it out anymore. I'm not feeling real good, so I'm going to wrap it up. And uh, unless my throat gets worse, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I think I just slept under the air conditioner. And uh, I think that's what's caused my problem. I don't... Um, so hopefully I'll be back tomorrow and be 100%. We'll just have to see. But uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, unless something, unless I'm just feeling horrible, uh, we'll be back again to wrap the week up tomorrow. But I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.